Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create Wave Template in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. So before creating a Wave Template, we have to configure some basic setup like a Wave Search Template, Allocation Mode, Task Creation Template. So with the help of Wave Search Template, Allocation Mode and Task Creation Template, we can create the Wave Template. So let's move to the instance and we'll see one by one all the configuration. Start from the wave search template. So search wave template and under the wave template, we have the option wave template search. Click on that. So wave search templates are used to filters for selecting specific orders during a wave. And each search template has a set of fields that can be configured. So let's create new one. And we are going to define the search name, root and the item code, right? So let's define the search name that is starter search, right? And we define like, uh, root one and item code is bearing right so in this wave search template this search name that is data search will filter all the order with the root number is root one and that only contain the store keeping unit item code is bearing right so let's click on save so it will create the wave template search, right? And you can also define the order type under this template. So select the record and click on this detail icon. And under this option, we can define our order type. Click on this create icon and this is our a wave template search and under this search we can define our order type click on that let's select here data order type test order type right and click on save if there is no any order type defined then it will not be filtered by the order type right so go to back and this is save template right now go to the our next setup which is allocation mode so let's create a allocation mode so we have the option allocation mode click on that and click on this create icon right so this allocation mode are used to define how the inventory should be allocated in terms of the different allocation unit of measures right and we can define our allocation mode like data allocation mode right so we are going to create new one click on save and you can add more details under this allocation mode like select this record and click on this detail icon click on this create icon right so this is our allocation mode data and this is sequence number this sequence number in which the system will look for the allocation like this 10 location type so location that will be used for the allocation that is reserve or active let's select active and we have the allocation unit of measure we have the four type of unit packs cases and lpn so let's select 
units right allocation distribution mode and this field is used to enable or disable the distribution functionality right so go with no distribution it means it turns the distribution off and it will create non queued pick based on the allocation unit of measure let's click on save so in this way we can define the details under the allocation mode right now a third task is task creation template so go to the task template so under this window we can create the task template so we have already created the task template let's create new one click on this create icon let's enter the description for this task template right and we have the template type that is regular and click on save right so in this way we can create the task template right and we can add the details under this task template so select the record and click on this detail icon and click on this create so start from the sequence number let's enter the sequence number and we have the task type right so we have to select our task type from the drop down we have the suppose we have the manufacturing right and we have the breaks breaks by the quantity breaks by the weight and breaks by the volume you can define as for your requirement and we can define the priority it determine the priority of the task type and the priority can override the records of the sequence number right and uh, we can define the dynamic destination zone and we can create the task type and we can create the dynamic dis destination zone on the different different screen like we can define the task type we can create over here we can create uh, the destination zone also right click on this save icon so in this way we can create a task template right now with the help of this wave search template allocation mode and task creation template we can create the wave template so go to the wave template now click on this create icon now start from the template name that's enter data template allocation method so you can choose the different way of the ordering inventory for picking from the active or reserve location and first in first out it means allocating the inventory based on the ascending order of the inventory and when we select the uh, last in first out it means the allocating the inventory based on the descending order of the inventory so let's select the first in first out and we have the allocation mode we have already created the data allocation mode and we have already created the wave search template that is data search and we can select the location put type we can select over here we suppose we have select this one the task creation template we have already created let's select the our task creation template this is data and let's click on this save icon
So in this way, we can create a wave template in WMS Cloud, right? Now, how we can run this template, this wave template? So select the record. First, we select our, this is our data template. So select the record and click on this run wave template. Right. Click on that. Click OK. Right. So the wave completed. You can check the wave inquiry for the run status. Click on OK. So go to the wave inquiry to check the status for this wave template. Wave inquiry, click on that. So we can view all the waves and their status on this window. Click on refresh icon. This is our wave template and the status is completed. You can see over here, once a wave is complete, we can use the print label or document button to print the outbound curtain label for picking team. They can use this label for being a task by screening the label barcode rather than selecting the arbitrary task number from the RF gun. So this is how we can create the web template and we can run the web template in Oracle WMS Cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.